so much. Yeah. Call the camera. I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. G'day. I'm issuing you a trespass notice to keep you away from the flat upstairs. I've never been up the stairs, mate. And you made threats. Can't do that. So no more threats. Yeah. And not going anywhere near her apartment or her. Like, I'm like just saying, down? stay away. Well, can she stay away saying. from me? Can she stop knocking me out? And why was she standing up there? Can she put her head over the phone and started shouting shit? If I see her down here, I'll smack her head in all the time. Yeah, goodbye. So, time to apply to court. I would say so. In Invercargill, the weather is less than clement for the foreseeable future. But for Inspire property manager Tracy, today's going to be a great day. So we've acquired the block of 10 flats and we've acquired the tenants that were sitting in place. Two of the tenants in particular need some help. Um, one of them is a bit of a hoarder and he has, in our opinion, slipped through the system and needs some help with his house cleaning and just maintenance. He's just not coping. So we're going to go in there today to find out what we can do to help him. As they say in property management, if you want something done, get a busy person. And that's Tracy to a T. If it's up to us to help out these people, us as property managers, we get to see all walks of life sometimes. Some of it not so good and some of it really good. But we need to be able to live in a society where we can help one another. At the address, Tracy's met by her colleague Nicola, who brought this property into the Inspire portfolio. OK, let's go and do this. Bill, how are you? Good, thank you. I'm Nicola from Inspire. How's Good, it going? Good, thank you. This is Tracy. Hello, Bill. Good, thank you, Tracy. So we've just taken over all the property management of the units. Mm -hmm. So we're coming in to do an inspection on Please, your property. Thank you. The former motel was called the Golden Court, but in the golden years of Bill's retirement, household chores have gotten away on him. Well, have a wee look. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Science laboratory. Mm. Sounds interesting. Yeah, it's my junk room. Everything gets thrown in there. Bill's been here for the best part of 20 years, and 20 years of clutter is everywhere. OK. That is a need of work. That's an understatement. Bill can't go on living like this, but he can't afford anywhere else on a fixed income. Yeah, he needs some help. And with Bill having no family around, that's just what Tracy and Nicola plan to do. Home Sweet Home property managers Lee and Kim are catching up on a bit of paperwork before some routine inspections. So today we are going to do the final exit inspection for one of our tenants that have moved out. Um, she wasn't there for very long, great tenant throughout her tenancy, so not expecting too many, well, any issues. So we'll head off now and go and have a look. It's not often you get a tenant as good as this one, in an area as good as this one, on a day as good as this one. But as Lee and Kim drive into the cul-de-sac, they can tell something's amiss. The street is immaculate, save one house, their house. Unmowed boom, rubbish left out. Uh, this cannot be happening. It actually is not that bad. What's happened to Lee and Kim's model tenant? A lawnmower left amongst long grass, cleaning rags beside dirty windows. At every other inspection, the place has been mint. Something strange is clearly going on here. At least let it be good inside. Prue and Michelle have served a trespass notice on an allegedly aggressive tenant. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, time to apply to court. I would say so. Can you look please? Tits out for the camera! Tits out for the camera! Oh, it's so much. Tits out for the camera! The tenant's not happy. Having seen the front of her, the good girls now want to see the back of her. You might want to start packing. Oh, yeah, I'm going to leave it. Time is up. Good set of breasts. Just a shame about her personality. <laughs> Trespass notice delivered and another happy customer. <laughs> While Prue and Michelle are now on nodding terms with the tenant's personality and personal details, they didn't notice she's also been heavily pruning the garden. Oh, for God's sake. Oh! <laughs> it's 
this is, uh, this is just a massacre. That's not a chainsaw, is it? <sighs> no. We're going to have to get someone in. And we're going to have to clear all this out. The garden is denuded, and the tenant is deluded if she thinks she's getting away with all this. Prue and Michelle are anxious to lodge the trespass notice immediately and go for eviction. Police station. I think we need to do this right now. The tenant has a foul mouth, but her neighbours have jurisprudence on their side. Now all that remains is for the wheels of justice to turn. Home Sweet Home property managers Lee and Kim are inspecting an allegedly vacant rental. The normally fastidious ex-tenants left the berms unmowed, rubbish out and rags on the ground, leading the girls to wonder if something unusual's happened. Please let it be good inside. She's not in the bathroom. Put all that scum on the outside tray. But her hair is. Oh, no. Oh, I can't do that. Stay of it. She's not in the kitchen. Oh, filthy. But the remains of her meals are. Still fat on the bench top. It's a mystery. The tenant's nowhere. Until Lee spots the reason why. There's been a frenzied knife attack. Man, what have they done here? The slasher tenants cut and run after murdering the carpet in four places. Oh, this has got glue on the outside, yeah. Worse, she attempted to patch up the crime without telling her property managers. Patching can be successfully done, but you shouldn't be able to see this the carpet's frame. I'm actually really disappointed because we've done regular inspections and everything has been great. She paid her rent on time, inspections have been clean and tidy, no problems. Lee and Kim are let down. The carpet repairs alone are going to cost a fortune. This inspection was meant to be a formality. Now it's a calamity. Time to cut ties, call the landlord and the tradies. Good Girls property managers Prue and Michelle are buzzing this morning. They're going to the district court to see if their twin set and hurls abuse tenant has come to the end of her rental road. You're going to try and get immediate rather than 48 hours, mm. aren't you? Because um, in tribunal, it's yes. 48 hours immediate. We understand immediate to be pronto now, feet. Whereas in the court system, it's 48 hours. We just can't allow it. So we want to go on today. We do. Out. Finished. Finito. So off to court we go. Let's go, Dale. <laughs> I'll be very glad to see the back of her. The good girls have faith in the process, and this is hopefully just a formality. Done. Done. Very good news. If we view this little possum here, um, we have immediate termination, and it's immediately today, which is what we wanted for all the threats and the breach is incapable of remedy. So it's terminated as of the second. So we need to now go and sellotape that on the door of the flat and we now have access. The flat is a mixture of relief and disgust in equal measures. Relief it hasn't been destroyed. Oh, she's pretty rocky in there. Disgust at the filth. Oh. Oh, my word. <laughs> is that for draining dishes? Yeah. And it smells. Hmm. No, I don't know. While the flat has been napalmed by the now ex-tenant, other tenants can breathe a sigh of relief. No threats, no parties, no abuse. It is the best possible outcome. Oh, brilliant. You know, she didn't want to attend court. She knew that the best thing for her was to go. Yes. And she did. Yep. Hurrah! Yeah, hooray. <laughs> All the good girls need to do now is get hold of some of their favourite contractors to get things tidied up inside and out so the landlord can look forward to a blue sky future. 
Inspire property managers Tracy and Nicola are trying to figure out how to help an elderly tenant who's living in less than ideal circumstances. Well, you can have a look in here. Just looking at the kitchen, it definitely needs to have um, something done here. It's obviously been quite a few years since he's had help. I don't know, I get behind things sometimes and I just don't have the energy to do them. Are you eating properly? Yeah. yeah. Are you cooking yourself? Oh, yeah. You are? Okay. Yeah. Have you had any help over the last year yeah. or so, couple of years? Well, uh, a woman come one time to do some cleaning for me. She had a cup of coffee and then left. Right. I and never saw her anymore. And no, no other family? No. Okay. No family, yeah. no help. But there has been one constant companion for elderly Bill. She even sits on his knee. She used to belong to the uh, house on the corner. Yeah. And when they left, they left the cats behind. So I took her back home and put her over the fence, and two seconds later, she's back here again. So she adopted you? Yeah. And people say, oh, you must get lonely. I say, hell, I don't get lonely. I say, only lonely people get lonely. I say, no, I don't get lonely. Bill doesn't know it yet, but the wheels have already started moving in Tracy and Nicola's respective heads. They don't call it Inspire Property Management for nothing. The girls are inspired to change Bill's life for the better. You've got us now. Good. We're going to get the sorted and we're going to get you taken care of because I think it's essential for Thanks your health. Enough. The conundrum for now is balancing the needs of Bill with the needs of the landlord. With them having just taken it on, I think they might be a wee bit shocked as to how the state of these ones have gotten. And yeah, we need to report back and just let them know that there's going to need to be a lot of repairs done in this one. You stay sitting there and we'll see ourselves out. Okay. 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 Have yes. a good day. Yeah, no family to help, nothing. So I guess we'll be his family. <laughs> <laughs> we'll adopt Bill. Yep. We'll take care of him. Yep. Okay, let's go. Okie dokie. Fingers crossed. Watch this space. Right. Good Girls property managers Prue and Michelle are going back to the block of flats where they copped an eyeful and an earful and it wasn't joyful. Let's go and talk to Steve. But things have changed dramatically since their last visit, indoors and out. Hi, Steve. Artisan arborist Steve has tamed the jungle and stripped everything back, ready for replanting. Throw the egg panthers in. Mm. Oh, it'll be pretty. Oh, well, that's good. We're going inside now. Even the rotten old piano's been removed, putting to bed bad memories of nudity and nonsense. Oh, much better. It does look better. Inside the flat itself, there are no signs of the yeah, previous no. tenant or her lack of cleanliness. And the oven's all cleaned up, so that's good now. Well, it smells clean, doesn't it? This sunny, cosy, comfortable unit is ready for some lucky new tenants to move in and make it their own, thanks to the good girls. Home Sweet Home property managers Lee and Kim are investigating why a model tenant left a rental dirty and disfigured. This has got glue on the outside. For weeks, they've been harnessing all tools and tech at their disposal. Now, a breakthrough. Her and her partner have recently broken up, so they decided to break their lease. Um, we've gone ahead and found some lovely new tenants to replace them. She let us know that um, she stained the carpets, um, and I think she panicked a bit, and rather than just getting them cleaned, she got someone in to patch the carpet. The tenant paid a carpet repairman $200 for the fix-up job. Sadly, if you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. But Lee's carpet man is one of the best in the business. He's been to the address, replaced all the carpet in the living area, and now the girls are popping in to see the results. Oh, wow, the carpet looks good. Oh, I'm glad we went darker. Yeah, much more tenant-friendly. But how did the cleaners get on, especially in the vomit-inducing shower? Ah, oh, much better. Lovely. Cleaners on good job. The kitchen is showroom clean and meets the home sweet home yeah. standard. Oh, look at that glass, you can see through it. Yeah. Massive improvement, that's great. Right, so carpets look good. Yeah. I think the owner will be happy with that and cleaning's great. The new tenants will be really happy here. Yeah, definitely ready for them on Thursday. Nicola's organised for her elderly tenant, Bill, to move permanently next door into an updated flat while the landlord renovates his old one. 
today's moving in day, and Bill's got more to move than most. We've also managed to get some helpers from Allied Pickford. They've come to help us. It's all down to timing, and hopefully everybody turns up that says they were going to. Thankfully, all Nicola's volunteers are here from Bill's church and hard at work. Even Bill's getting stuck in, but Nicola's determined to avoid an out with the old and in with the old situation. What I really want done here is I don't want stuff like this being going carted into the new property. It needs to be all cleaned before it even goes through the door. A newfangled heat pump. We'll turn that on to auto. New curtains, new carpet, and courtesy of Allied Pickfords, a new bed. It's like Christmas for Bill. It's a nice new looking house for you. Yeah. There's even cake. I think it was a bit of cake one time. The icing on the cake yep, is that Nicola's that. arranged for aged concern to help Bill with the cleaning in future. Hasn't she done well looking after you? She has, she's been wonderful actually. Yes. How many other property managers have helped you out like this? Um, one other. In next to no time, all of Bill's possessions worth keeping have been transported next door. The rest go in the easy bin skip, donated for free, bound for the tip. I am absolutely knackered. You need to sit down. Well, one time, by the time I got out of bed and got dressed, I had to sit down. I was so knackered. The next time I sit, I hope it's geometry. Well, I hope it's not too, too, too soon, but, yeah. It better not be. I'm only moving you once every 10 years. Yeah, well, I, I prefer that too. So when I, when I come back and see you in a month's time, Bill? It'll be the same. Good stuff. Yeah, thank you so much, especially in what you've done. That's all right, mate. That's absolutely brilliant. And you fellas too have come here and did it all for nothing. I think that was absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Mind you, I've done it for nothing too, of course, so. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, so I guess I'd better give you this then, Bill. Uh-huh. Oh, the keys. I got the key of the door, never been 21 before. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye, Bill. Bye, Bye guys. Thanks See for your right. help. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you Right, big effort. So, day's done, bill's moved, all sorted. One happy Bill, one tired Nicola. Good night. <laughs>